Alrighty, how's it going everyone? Texas Man here. I'm going to be showing you guys where you can find Zor for the very first time here in Destiny 2 The Final Shape. This is of course happening on June 7th, 2024. And interestingly enough, it has been um, slightly rumored, I guess we'll find out next week and the weeks prior, that Zor, the exotic vendor that only shows up for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, is supposed to be officially always in the Traveler I'm sorry, not in the Traveler, in the Tower, and he won't be jumping around to other locations, just, just the EDZ, Cosmodrome, the Moon, Nessa, Streaming City, Neptune, Europa, or Sabathun Throne World. He will always be in the Tower. So, first of all, always easy thing to do is look for the 9 symbol, the Roman numeral 9. This will always be where Zur is at. So, not only will always Zur be in the Tower, um, that is supposed to be happening for Destiny 2, the final shape moving forward, but he will always have a, a Roman numeral 9, because he's part of the Agent of 9, uh, symbol above his head. So we're going to check out his inventory. Apparently he's gotten a n enormous rework, so we will see how that all ties in and fits in and see how that will play into the new economy. Because if you guys know, in Destiny 2 right now, they got rid of the legendary shards, so we're going to see how that affects the rest of what is going on with his inventory. Let's go find him. Obviously there is a wave point that you can put onto his icon if you guys so desire. And yes, I am a warlock. Deal with it. <laughs> In case you guys have some sort of issue. here. He's gonna be right in here. Very nice and decorative. And there is Zura in the Jinn of the Nine. Have I? There you go. May we speak. So he actually will have his own rank. He has his own rank track. So he has his own rank rewards. So, how you unlock this, I think it's just from you purchasing stuff from him, and you will be able to reset it if you wish. Uh, everything I'm going to show you, except for the rank track reward, is going to be on a recycle every single weekend. So, you know, don't think that all the stuff I'm going to show you here is just locked for Zero for the next year. You will have a weekend rotation still, but you can save up and get stuff. Um, over here on the second page, you still have the ability to get the exotic cipher if you guys wish to. Obviously, you can only have one at a time. So we have a shun shot, shun, shun, no, 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 sun, sun shot catalyst for 71 strange coins. By the way, the coin that you acquire strange coins is by doing ritual playlists activities or any seasonal activity events. So if you do things such as blind whale strikes, crucible, or gambit, you will get at least one strange coin every time you complete one. So if you guys want the Sunshot Catalyst, that will run you 71 strange coins. We have another uh, Catalyst, and this is for the Jilton, and that'll cost you 71 strange coins. We have some uh, Chest Armor for the Hunter class, if you guys would like that, for 41. Um, Titan class Leg Armor for 41 strange coins. And for 41 strange coins, you can also get a Warlock Helmet. You also can spend 23 strange coins and get three gambit engrams if you guys are wanting some random legendary gambit weapons or gear that are crucible, I'm sorry, gambit specific. Over here for the strange offers, and obviously all this stuff is on rotation, you have the loyalty program of the nine. So this will cost you 47 strange coins, but it will increase the chance of you getting two or more strange coins every time you complete a ritual activity. And of course this can stack if you have multiple popped at the same time. You also can get some materials. So if you want, you can get some ascended shards for 41 strange coins. There are bundles for enhancement cores, uh, seven for uh, seven strange coins for seven cores, and then 23 strange coins for 17. You also can get some glimmer if you guys would like for five and seven strange coins uh, each. You also can get what's called strange repeatable offers. Um, as you guys can tell, I only have one strange coin because I've only done one strike. Um, I would highly recommend not purchasing this. Um, I saw somebody pop this and all it did was give them blues and it 
the blues were at 1900. So this will not help you get anything really useful for like doing nightfalls, grandmasters, raids, dungeons, or anything like that. So don't waste your time with that. That's kind of just a silly thing to waste your time and strange coins on. Moving over here to the right side, strange gear offers. We have an exotic engram that you can purchase for 23 strange coins. We also have Hawkmoon for 23 strange coins. You can get the Cerberus plus one auto rifle for 23 plus strange coins. The Trinity Ghoul bow for 23 strange coins. The Queen Breaker linear fusion rifle for 23 strange coins. Obviously everything in here as well for the exotics and legendary will all be on rotation every single weekend as well. We have strange weapon engrams that'll cost you 17 coins. We also have um, some other things. We got sidearm, we have a sniper rifle, we have a pulse rifle, a fusion rifle, a sword, another sword, and another sword. And all these legendary uh, things will cost you 17 coins. Moving down lastly to the legendary armor, we have armor engram that'll cost you seven coin. And then we have some gauntlets, chest armor, warlock bond, a helmet and some leg armor. Um, all of this uh, legendary armor will be class specific for whatever class you are on at the moment. And all this legendary gear will run you 17 coins each. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please let me know in the comments down below. Have an excellent day and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.